The New Orleans Saints on Sunday night football heading to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Bucks are favored by 11, total of 46 and a half. The Saints, surprisingly, 6-1 and one against the spread in their last seven against the Bucks. However, the Saints, 0-6 oh against the spread following a spread win. They, of course, won and covered at the Jets last week. The Bucks have covered four straight, and they have covered five straight at home. This is the time of year where Tom Brady decides, okay, it's playoff time, it's December, Let, let's get things ready, let's quit making mistakes, let's quit being foolish, and let's go out and get this thing done. Uh, you saw it early against the Bills last week, and the defense started kind of eh, not doing what they were supposed to, and that game went to overtime. But once it got to overtime, you knew it was done. You knew it was over as soon as they got the ball first. Now, you look at numbers here, it's, I mean, this is bucks in a route, basically. Like, I, I, I'm going to take the Bucks to cover the 11. And I know that's it, it seems kind of crazy, but I, I don't think 11's enough. I think they're going to lay it on them. After, especially what happened at the uh, at the Superdome, right? Like I think right. they're I think they were embarrassed. No, I'm the same way. I, I'm 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 gonna lay the points. I'm gonna take Tom. He he just his numbers are unbelievable, unbelievable. That he's 44 years old, and and he's doing what he's doing. I mean that the 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 plays that he's making and the throws that he's able to make, they couldn't be better than what they are. And there are guys that are half his age that everyone is projecting that are going to be Hall of Famers that aren't making those throws. He shouldn't be able to have the arm strength. Like, to have the brains and the IQ and the pick on the people apart and the accuracy, mid-range and short, is is kind of what we expect, right? Yeah. But to be able to throw the deep ball, to be able to throw the laser in where you're trying to fit it between defenders, you're not supposed to be able to do this at this age. Look, look at... Peyton Manning's throws when he was 36, 38. I'm, I'm not saying 44. I'm talking like five to seven years younger than Tom is now. Go watch those ducks being thrown, okay? And, and tell me this is what a human is supposed to look like. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's all completely ridiculous at this point. <laughs> and I know the Saints have this weird thing where he just, they have his number. Okay, that's fine. That might be. I'll just lose. That's okay. It won't be the first time I've lost on a bet. It won't. It won't be the last. But I'm not. I'm not betting on that other team without a quarterback when the team that I'm picking has the best quarterback to ever play football. Exactly, and that's that's where I'm going with this. Right, New Orleans' strength is on defense. Uh, bottom yes. line, they are the number five DVOA, uh, DVOA team uh, in the National Football League. However, Tampa Bay's offense is number one. So. Yeah. You know, strength on strength there. Uh, Tampa Bay's defense is number seven. The New Orleans offense has dropped all the way down to 19, and it will continue to free fall uh, without Jameis Winston back there. So, you know, it, it, we can talk about Taysom Hill and, and whatever else, but it, bottom line is the Saints are going to they're gonna find it very difficult, I think, on Sunday night. Give me give me the bucks. Mine is 11, and you're, uh, you're kind of rolling the same way. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.